So this question says y equals 3 and y equals ax squared plus b. The information in the question tells us that in the system of equations above, a and b are constants. For which of the following values of a and b does the system of equations have exactly two real solutions? Okay, so that's important. So exactly two, right? So not one or none. And they must be real, so not imaginary. Okay, so the question is asking for values of a and b. All of the answer choices provide values for a and b. So I'm going to use the strategy plug in answers because this is the exact type of setup that we're looking for when we want to use that strategy. So that strategy just basically says plug in the answers from the from the you know plug the answers in that we have here into the question and then test it based upon the information provided to us. So we have the equation y equals ax squared plus b. And when I use the fact that I'm told y equals 3 and I test out answer choice A as the correct answer, what I'd end up with here is 3 is equal to negative 2x squared plus 2. And then I want to simplify this as much as I can. So I subtract 2 from both sides. And I'm left with 1 equals negative 2x squared divide by negative 2 on both sides. And I end up with negative 1 half is equal to x squared. And if you recall, when I square root this to figure out the solutions for x, because I'm square rooting a negative number, I am going to end up with imaginary solutions. So A is gone because I don't want imaginary solutions. I want real solutions. So that was choice A. So choice B, do the exact same thing. So then I'm going to have 3 equals negative 2x squared plus 4. Subtract 4, subtract 4. So I have negative 1 equals negative 2x squared, which divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2, gives me positive 1 half equals x squared. I square root both of these. And when I simplify that, I'll have x equals plus or minus 1 over root 2, um, which is the same as plus or minus root 2 over 2, right, if we were to simplify that further. And those are real solutions. So, you know, I'm liking B. Nothing wrong with B. I don't know why it would be wrong, but I like to just try everything in these types of situations. Unless, of course, I'm running out of time, then I'd probably just choose B and move on. So choice C here, I'd have... 3 equals 2x squared plus 4. So again, subtract 4, subtract 4. So I have negative 1 equals 2x squared. And I can already see here that once again, I'm going to end up with a negative, right? So negative 1 half. So that's going to lead to imaginary when I square root, just like it led to imaginary for answer choice A. So C is gone. And then lastly, we have choice D to try. So I'd have 3 equals 4 four x squared um, plus three. And in this case, I subtract three, subtract three. So I'd have zero equals four x squared. And as you know, when I divide by four, I end up with zero equals x squared. And when I square root zero, I just have x equals zero, which means I only have one value, right? It's real, but it's only a single value. I want two values and therefore D is gone. So for that reason, choice B is the best answer.